Hey everybody, Jay here. Welcome back to the homestead. We got about, uh, I would say probably eight inches of snow and I'm gonna show you today how to drive a plow truck. All right, everybody, before we get into the plowing, I'd like to thank my good subscriber, Larry Cluck. Thank you for always tuning in, buddy. You've been following along on the homestead for a while. So today's shout out goes to you, Larry. Appreciate it. Now let's get back to plowing. All right, everybody, welcome back to the homestead. As you can see here, we have um, a pretty huge driveway here uh, with our plow truck here. We're gonna brush this off, get it started, and I'm gonna throw you guys on the hood. We'll do a little quick little time lapse, and I will show you guys how to uh, drive a plow truck, give you some tips. So yeah, let's have some fun. All right, before we get into it, first thing you wanna do, make sure you have a beacon light. You wanna be seen. Uh, plowing is a very busy activity, so make sure you invest in a beacon light so you can be seen. Second thing, real quick, you have a plow controller. Up, down, left, right. Really simple. Hit up, plow goes up, left, plow goes left, right, plow goes right. Obviously down is down. So now let's hop in the truck, put you guys on the hood, and let's go plowing. First things off, we're gonna angle the plow to the right. Hopefully you saw that. And I'm hugging the right edge of the driveway. Now as we come up to our final snowbank, we're gonna straighten out and lift the plow as we're reaching the end of the snowbank. You don't want to just slam into it. It's hard on the plow, hard on the truck. So another tip too is when you back down the driveway, like you see here, you want to back down your previously plowed area. So now we're going to do the left side, plow down, angle to the left. As you can see, there's no snow coming out the right side where we previously plowed. To plow efficiently, you want to make sure that you don't leave a snail trail on uh, the previously plowed area. So as you can see, we're backing down again. Um, we're gonna do the right side again. So again, angle the plow to the right. We have it pretty much in the woods, barely touching the trees here. We curl, straighten out, lift the plow, boom. Just like that. Uh, pretty sweet, nice and smooth. You don't wanna be slamming into these snow banks here. All right, now we're gonna make a pass on the left side of the driveway again. As you can see, we have our plow angle to the left. We're coming down here. Keeping it angled, you don't want to have any snow coming out to the right, we already plowed that. The goal is to not plow the same area obviously twice. Turn, raise the plow a little bit, boom, right into the snow bank. Everybody's happy. So again, we're backing up, backing up now. This corner where we're going around now is pretty um, tough to get the snow. So we're going to plow a little bit straight, you'll see in a second. But anyways, backing up to where we started, angle the plow, pushing the snow, pushing the snow, pushing the snow. We're gonna straighten out here and just to kind of build a little bit of extra bank here. This corner, like I mentioned, is tough with the radius. So going straight a few times works out good. But anyways, going back down the driveway, plows angle to the left. Every time we're going a little bit further and further over to the left. So yeah, let's go ahead and now hop in the truck. All right, I wanted to bring you guys in the truck for a second here. One thing you wanna do is, is uh, when you drive in the truck, I use, my, I use a controller in my right hand and I, I'm driving with my left hand. Uh, depending on your plow setup, sometimes the plow setups are bolted to the, the dash, sometimes the plow setups are, uh, sometimes they're fixed somewhere on the dash, but mine is a hand remote here, so all I do is I'm pretty much driving with my right hand, shifting with my left, and using the controller. So I'm always driving with my left hand, shifting, shifting and plowing, plow control with my right hand. So. Like I said to you before in the overlay, uh, you definitely want to push to the sides, get as wide as you can, and then as you're closing in on your snowbanks, you definitely want to raise your plow a little bit. Uh, you don't want to be slamming into the snowbanks. Easier on the truck, easier on the transmission, easier on the plow. Uh, just so, just some tips there. Always remember too, when you're backing up, you have a plow on the front. You always want to straighten out your blade. You don't want to leave it crooked at an angle because believe me, you will hit stuff. You will hit trees. You will hit mailboxes. I've done it before. Um, my dad taught me how to plow when I was 13. I'm 28 now, so I did it for a while uh, to make some side money. So needless to say, I'm not an expert, but I'm a pretty big fan of it. So those are just some tips here. Uh, we're going to set you guys up and we're going to do the big part. We're doing the driveway first. Um, as you can see, as you saw, we're doing the driveway first uh, because that's the longest leg. Uh, and then we'll move on, we'll move cars and stuff later. Uh, that's a little bit more of a task, but um, get a pretty good rhythm for it. It's just kind of like man and machine type thing. You get used to it. So again, shifting with my right, 
driving with the left. So straighten the plow out, back up. Make sure you know you got good windshield wipers. Your defrost works. You definitely want to be able to see see where you're going. So now let's flip you guys over. Since we're done with the long part of the driveway, we'll do the uh, we'll do the big side now with the cars. Before we do the cars, one thing you want to do, I clear this area. This is grass, so you want to put your plow down and then give it a bunch, a couple key licks up, if you will, so it's not dragging completely on the ground. That's how you usually plow over grass. You don't want to have the full weight of the plow on the ground. Um, as you can see there, there's definitely a little bit of snow left. I don't know how well you can see, we'll show you after, but uh, I clear this area for future future snow pushing because obviously this isn't the last storm so you just want to kick that kick plate up get that plow like literally like half inch off the ground half inch off the ground and just skim over all right so here's a view from actually going up the driveway so now our plows down angle to the left we're pushing that snow as far as it'll go next to the trees now we're going to cross over and do the part we haven't got to yet so as you can see there once i crossed over lanes I, uh, I transitioned the snow plow so I wouldn't leave a snail trail. So now let me keep showing you again. Plow again is angled to the right. We're going to go about three quarters of the plow width in and then just keep plowing just like that. If you go any more than that, you'll generally get a snail trail on the left side. But doing what I'm doing here, as you can see, there's no trail at all. So again, I use about two thirds of the plow here. Keep it angled to the right, straighten out and boom. Push it off the little quote unquote ledge there. So let's show you. Now we're out in the point in the driveway where we can't really make that radius anymore. So we're going to uh, do one more pass angle, as you see here. Then we're going to back up and then we're going to push the snow um, straight until we have a small little rock wall there. Um, the reason why I do this is because I can't make that turn anymore. So well, let's do that right now. So as you can see, I just kind of tilt the plow a little bit again to the left. I don't want to have any snow dribble out on either side. So again, here we go. Pushing the snow right into the small little rock wall there. This gives me the best, this, this takes away the most snow um, versus the side scrape there like you saw earlier. So again, boom, just keep going and going and going. We take off little chunks at a time. The plow truck doesn't run the best, so I'm not trying to push four feet of snow at a time. Now we're backing way up and we're gonna finish this left side here. Again, pushing it a little bit towards the cars, not too, too much. All right, now I'm gonna show you what it looks like from outside the plow truck. So as you can see here, you see how I was only using two thirds of the actual plow. Um, that, that eliminates any snow popping out of the right side, the passenger side. So watch that again. I have the plow angled. I'm only using about two thirds of it. I don't get any snow coming out on the passenger side. That is the whole point, is to not have any extra snow all right everybody so we got to put the kids to bed so we parked the plow truck for now but let's take a look at what we did so far um you notice there's not a single snail trail now what a snail trail is is when the snow bleeds out from the side of the plow but as you saw it keeping it angled to one side and making passes shaving like shaving if you will uh i don't know shaving an apple or whatever but doing it that way keeping your blade a little bit angled pass after pass um, the plow if you notice has those those markers on the side there you want to always keep that on previously plowed um, area so if you have that in the snow you're gonna leave snail trails but as you can see we just shut the camera off. we just excuse me we just shut the truck off and we have absolutely no snail trails uh, up and down the whole driveway as you can see we got nice high banks going down the driveway what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start each car um, Tip of advice too, if you can get sheets of plywood or these shipping lids like I do, I put these on the front of the uh, cars 
What that does is it protects the snow from being packed underneath, especially our van. Our van can't move itself for anything through the snow. Um, so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna brush off the cars, we're gonna move the cars over there, and then we're gonna continue plowing this. But pretty much that sums up the video on how to plow. A uh, Couple tips, make sure you have a plow light on your vehicle, make sure you have plenty of lights, plenty of uh, sirens, whatever you will. Um, and when you're going through a big parking lot, always leave that plow a little bit tilted so you don't get those snail trails and work yourself left to right like you saw me do here on the driveway. And yeah, it's pretty much clear as it is. So again, I hope this video helped. Just a real quick basic video on how to plow. Um, really straightforward actually. Just it's a matter of getting the feel for it. Man and machine. Just you know, keep working on it the better you get. I've been plowing since I've been 13. So 28 now. Um, so I'm quite a fan of it. So anyways, any tips or tricks, let me know in the comments below. Like I always say, please comment, please share, uh, please like this video. And like I always say, we will see you out in the woods.